Here's an overview video of the assignment requirements for your presentations, and this is taken directly out of your module handbook. Now, first things first, keep calm. Whether you've done a presentation at a conference before or whether this whole experience is completely new for you, even designing um, a poster, if that's what you're choosing to do, a poster or Prezi or PowerPoint, please keep calm. We've got lots of time in which to explore all of this so you can do it in a, in a very collegiate way, a collaborative way with each one of us on the module. In the handbook, you'll see that section six is called assignment tasks. And as I encourage you with all of your assignments, always make sure you pick out the words telling you exactly what you need to do and then equally how you need to do it. And then you map yourself against the grading criteria to see how well you're going to do all of this. You will see from the guidelines in the assessment task, it says for your summative assessment, that means the one you're marked on, you are required to do a conference acceptable poster and or PowerPoint or Prezi or similar. And what you need to do with that is to critically synthesize, that means draw together a discipline specific issue relevant to contemporary professional practice. Okay, each one of those words matter. Now, the reason why I get you to discuss your topic ideas with me as the module leader and then with your colleagues as well. So whether that's um, during one of our workshop sessions together or whether you're still chatting on the various forum sites, share your ideas with each other because it's by exploring these, you can start critically analyzing this from different perspectives so that the depth of your work is far more profound. And a problem that seems to crop up for so many students on this module is that they're wondering what actually they should be doing. Are they going to do a poster? Are they going to do a PowerPoint or Prezi or whatever? So what's the difference between all of those and which one then would you prefer to choose? Whichever presentation style you're going for, uh, whether it's the poster and or Prezi or PowerPoint or something else, it should be of an acceptable quality for dissemination at a professional or academic conference, which is engaging and stimulating of peer discussion. Okay, now when you look through the guidelines, keep on picking out all of these words to make sure you are achieving them. Here's another important requirement for you all, is to make sure that it's discipline specific. So whether you're health visiting, school nursing or district nursing, make sure it's relevant to your specific field of practice and that it's something of key relevance to a contemporary professional issue. Okay, so maybe something that you come across in your routine practice, something that you want to move the learning on and develop it more. A key consideration for you to bear in mind is that um, whichever format you're deciding to do, it's not just imparting knowledge to people in a descriptive way. You're not doing a mini teaching session, say for example, on your trust's fire safety uh, procedures. It's not that sort of thing. You want to choose a topic on which you can enable people to start thinking further, maybe think in new ways, even address questions not yet asked. The assessment guidelines also say that you ought to consider some epistemological, ontological and ethical principles throughout the presentation as well. And even in um, uh, an earlier part of the module where you explored uh, the nature of knowledge, that's when we started to unpick what these words mean and how they will apply to your particular field of practice. I appreciate that some of you still get rather worried and concerned about these whole notions of epistemology, ontology and ethics, but I refer you back to the particular sessions on the module where we covered those and keep on asking questions. So whether that's in our workshops together or in the various forum sites on Moodle, if you don't understand something, please keep asking questions so that you can get this really, really clear. 
And finally, back to the motif of don't panic again. So please read through the guidelines, take each word as to be really meaningful, and use every opportunity that you can, either in class with us, whether that's online or physically in class, or on the online forum buttons, or then if you're getting um, one-to-one or group sessions for tutorials. Okay, please do not panic. Let's work through this together. Then when it comes to the end of the module and you've got the opportunity to present or to perform your uh, presentation to us all, we'll do that in your um, uh, specific conference-style assessment days. Good luck and best wishes.